Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be diving into the beta version of the new LionDesk system. As you may have noticed, the LionDesk platform has been given a facelift, and we're going to also be rolling out new features throughout. Today, we're going to do the level two webinar. We're going to focus on marketing, so how to create drip campaigns, how to assign these campaigns to your clients, and then we're going to end up creating short codes for our text to sell feature. So we're going to begin with creating a new campaign. On the left-hand side, on this uh, navigation bar, you're going to select campaign. And if you're familiar with the old version on how to create drip campaigns, you're going to notice that the new system is going to make this process a lot simpler. So instead of jumping in, you know, back and forth between tabs, you'll be able to set up the campaign all in one go. So to start the process, you want to click on this blue button, create campaign. You're going to get this pop-up window so you can give it a name. Uh, in this video, we're going to run this open house scenario. So I'm going to type in open house. Click on submit. And it's going to open up that campaign. You're going to notice that there are no actions at the moment, but we're going to go ahead and build this up. Click on create action. And it's going to take you to this page. And first thing it's going to ask you is to select the type of action. So you have the options between email, text message, and you're also going to see phone transcripts, direct mail, and then agent tasks. So we're going to start off with creating an email template. So by clicking on email, I'm going to then select next. And it's going to ask me to choose a template. So I do have two options. Option number one, I can set up a new template. Or I can pull up from these different folders. So follow up responses, line does text, uh, sent email. Uh, they don't seem appropriate, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder first. Set up the open house folder. Same description. Press OK. By creating a new folder, it's going to allow me to save these templates in that folder. Uh, so that way I can retrieve them at any time. So now that we created that folder, we're going to set up a new template. And it's going to slide in from the right. So you're going to go ahead and type in your message. First thing you're going to see is description. This is viewed only internally. So none of your clients will see what you type in. We'll type in email number one, open house. This is going to be the first email I sent from this campaign. Below that, you're going to see the subject line. So keeping to our scenario, welcome to the open house. And then below that, it's going to ask me to save it to a folder. So we did create that open house folder for easy access. And then we're ready to begin the body of the email. So I'm going to start off with hello. I do want the first name to auto populate on its own. And we do have code so you can uh, pull information from the context profile or from your profile. Uh, so to access these codes going into the toolbar, you're going to see insert line as content. So by clicking on that uh, icon, it's going to give me this pop-up window. In that first drop-down menu, you're going to see contact full name, first name, last name, and so on. Uh, so this is the intro, uh, this is the beginning of the email. So I'm going to select contact first name. So now you see that code first name appear, and I'm going to continue with the rest of my email. Thank you. Oops. For joining us at the open house. A new feature with our email templates is now we can add emojis to them. So going back into the toolbar, you're going to see the emoji icon. So by clicking on it, it'll give me the list of different emojis I can pick from. I'm going to go ahead and select this lion emoji. So thank you for joining us at the open house. If you would like more information about the property, click here. So you can create uh, clickable links into your emails. So to, in order to do that, you want to highlight the word that you want to be clickable. Going into the toolbar, you're going to see uh, the insert link icon. 
By clicking on that, it's going to give you this pop-up window. You're going to type in the URL. So www.yourwebsite.com. And then click insert. You are going to see the word highlight blue. This just means that that uh, word is now clickable and it's going to take them to that website. So to continue with our emails, I do want to note that we can add videos to the emails. So next to that emoji icon, oh my bad, you're going to see insert line desk video. And it's going to pull up on the right. So you'll see all the videos you've uploaded into the system. And it's going to allow me to select any of them. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. You're going to see the code for that video pop up. Your clients will see this thumbnail, but for the template, it is going to be this code. Another new feature about our email templates is uh, adding images into the emails. Um, if you're used to the old platform, you're gonna remember having to upload into documents, copy the URL, and then paste it over. Uh, we've simplified that process. So now you don't need to upload any image into LionDesk. You can pull up any image. Uh, so you can go into Google search, type in the image you're looking for, and then copy the link address. So here we are, I Googled Lion. So I want to add this image into my email. You want to right click, select copy image address, go back into the template, and to insert that image next to the emoji icon, you're gonna see insert image. It's gonna ask you for the URL, so again, right click and paste. You're gonna see that image appear as well, and then click OK. Now we have that image inserted into the template. All right, I'm going to continue, and now I want to sign off this email. So I want to add my email signature. So I want to use the same code I used for the first name. Well, not the same code. I want to pull up that code. So in order to do so, you want to click on Insert Line Desk Content. Clicking on the first drop-down menu, you want to scroll past all the contact info until we get to your info. So here we go, your full name, first name, last name. Scrolling a little below your email signature. Oop, that got added to the wrong location. Let me copy that. There we go. And at the bottom, once you're ready, click on Save Template. So it's saved that template. Now I want to add it to my campaign. So you're going to see the different folders come up. We're going to select open house. It's going to pull up that email number one. So when I select that email, I'm going to click on next. This is where we're going to set up the timing of the email. So when do we want to send it out? We have the option for immediately, delay by day and time, or delay by minutes. Uh, so I want to send this email 30 minutes after uh, they've come to the open house. So I want to click on delay by minutes and type in 30. Once you're done, you click, click on next. And it's gonna ask you to select the assignee. Uh, so if you're an, an individual an agent, it's always gonna default to yourself. Uh, if you're part of a team, you'll be able to select the assignee and select somebody else within uh, your team. We'll go ahead and just select me for now. And then click submit. All right, you've added this action into the campaign. Now you have two choices. You can click on finish and exit or continue on and adding more actions. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. This time we're gonna add a text template. So I'll select text, click on next. And similar to the emails, it's gonna pull up all the folders, but as you may have noticed, I have no uh, text templates saved in any. So we will have to create a new template. And it's going to pull up on the right hand side and you'll be able to type in your message. First thing you'll see is description. Text number one, open house. Again, the description is viewed only internally, so none of your clients will see what you type in. Below that, you'll see template folder. So I'm going to select which folder I want to save the template into, and that's going to be open house. 
now I'll be able to type in the uh, actual text message. So I want to use the same, you know, first name code I use on the email. So I'm going to select insert line as content. Click on that first drop down menu and select contact first name. It was great seeing you at the open house. Let me know if you have any questions. Cool. So similar to the emails, we can also add emojis. So you can see that icon appear uh, in the upper left. You'll be able to select from the list. So I'm going to select that lion. As well as you'll be able to add video. So by clicking on the insert line desk video, it's going to pull up from the right. And I'll be able to add one of my videos I've already uploaded. Once I'm done, I'm going to scroll to the bottom and click on Save Template. So now we see our open house folder come up. And by clicking on it, we see text number one. We're going to move on, click on next, and we're going to set up the timing for the text message. For this one, we already sent out an email that uh, initial day. So I want to send this out for the next day. So delay by date and time. I want to delay it by one day. The time I do want to select, uh, you know, later in the morning. So 10 a.m. You do have the option for stop on text reply. Uh, by selecting this option, if they respond back to your text message, it's going to remove the remaining parts of the drip campaigns. So if you keep adding additional tasks, you know, additional emails, additional text messages, uh, if they respond back to the text message, they're not going to receive the remaining parts of their cam that campaign. So we can go ahead and click on stop on text reply and then select next. And it's going to default to me, which is perfect, and submit. So you're going to continue adding more actions to your campaign. Uh, for this scenario, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Click on finish and exit. And it's going to open up to the campaign and you're going to see that first email. Send out, uh, schedule that to send 30 minutes later. The text message is going to send out the following day at 10 a.m. Now that we have this campaign set up, I do want to assign this to my contacts. Uh, so on the left hand side, I'm going to select contacts. And you can select a group of people from your database to send it to. So you don't have to do it one by one. Uh, you can pick and choose, you know, a group of five, a group of 10, group of 20, and do it all at once. You can either click on this uh, box here to select all. Or you can just pick and choose individual contacts. So I want to select these first three and some other warm clients, right? So I selected five of my contacts. Uh, scrolling back up, you're going to see these uh, icons appear. So I can do a mass email, mass text message, mass events, mass task, or set them all on a campaign. So that's what I'm going to click on, start campaign. By clicking on the search campaigns, it's going to pull up the different ones I have set up. So I have the open house campaign. And once you're done, you're going to click on start campaign. Now this campaign has been triggered for these five contacts. And that wraps up uh, creating campaigns and how, assign the, how to assign them to your contacts. Now we're going to move on to how to create short codes. That's going to be in the communications. So on the left hand side, can we click on communications? You're going to see three tabs appear on top, emails, text, and then text to sell. And in this section, you'll be able to create your own short codes. Uh, so just to briefly explain this, I'm certain most of you have had some experience with uh, text to sell. Uh, so you've probably seen ads possibly on television, on billboards, or maybe even uh, Facebook ads, where it asks you to text this code. And for example, you know, text home to this number. 
And once you text in that code, you receive an auto response. So that's what you're setting up here. You're setting up the code itself. You're setting up the auto response that the clients receive. Uh, you also do have the option to trigger a drip campaign once that client texts in. So the benefits of the text to sell feature, it's a good way for you to generate your own leads. You can paste your codes uh, in various locations. So you've, you've seen agents post their codes in open house sign writers. You've seen them do it for Facebook ads, uh, as well as just flyering. Uh, so you do have different options on how to create, how to use these codes. You can create as many as you'd like. And you'll be able to record uh, which clients are coming in from which code. So to set this up, you want to click on create short code. It's a slide in on the right. So the first thing it's going to ask you is to set up the code. What do you want your clients to text in? You're going to notice no spaces, codes must be unique, and shorter is better. So we want to run that same scenario, open house. I want them to text in open house. So now ask me for a long URL. So if I wanted to include a URL in that response, I'll just type it in here. So I'm going to type in www.yourwebsite.com. And then the response back. So once they text in open house, what would you like them to respond back? Uh, so in this scenario, I'm thinking that you have this sign writer in display with that open house short code and your custom number. So once they text in, they'll receive this message. Thank you for attending the open house. I provided a link below for more information. Below that, you do have the option to set up a source. And let's say the source is the open house. So that way I know that anybody texting in the open house code is coming in from the open house I have in 145 Canyon Drive. And below that, it's gonna ask me to set up the campaign. I have two campaigns at the moment. I wanna trigger the open house campaign we just created. And once we're done, we'll click on save. Or oh, that's just a notification that my URL is not active, which is totally okay. If yours is working, you'll be fine. So now that we created that short code, uh, you'll be able to post this again on different locations. In this scenario, we had it at the open house. So you would possibly want it on a sign writer for your open house. Uh, when someone does text that code in, LionDesk will capture their phone number. It's gonna create a new profile. And we are gonna search the internet for more information, uh, you know, that's tied to that number. So we're gonna pull up their name, their address, uh, and the other social media platforms like their Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, and any uh, Instagram accounts that they have open. That does wrap up the marketing section in our level two webinar. Uh, we do have a couple more webinars coming in, so stay tuned.